Hello! So welcome back to the third instalment of the Dreamweaver series. So in this episode we are going to finish off the logo and then once we finish off the logo we will concentrate and complete the Google AdSense section over on the right hand side. So let's get on with it. So if you open up Photoshop and actually open up the design we designed in the previous series um, so we're gonna we've added in the actual logo shape. So we now need to be adding in the tech byte text and the your tech news text. Uh, and then once we've done that, we'll add in the position on the right hand side for the Google AdSense advertising, so you can make some money on your website. So in the previous episode, we created the header container, which stretched all the way across the page, 100%. Uh, we created the center container. And then that keeps everything in the middle of the of the web browser, and no matter how big the screen is. And then we added in the image here uh, for the logo. So we're going to divide the the header into two sections. So the left hand side will be the logo, and the right hand side will be the Google, the Google AdSense. So just here, just below the center container, we're going to create a div with an ID, and the ID name is going to be the logo. And then we'll just come below the image, and here we'll just close the, the the div off like this, and create our comment of logo. So what we actually need to do now is actually style this logo in the CSS. So I'm just going to copy the text here of logo. So we're just going to add here the uh, ID of logo, and we need to give it a property of width. So we're just going to give that 400 pixels, and we're going to close that off. Now if we go back to the index page and if we go to the design, you can now see we have some more uh, dotted lines. So if I click here, and if we look down here, div with an ID of logo, which is stretching 400 pixels um, over to the right hand side. So now we've added that in place, if we go back to the code, we need to be adding in the uh, tech byte text. So we're going to use a H1 tag for heading 1. And we're just going to type in here tech byte. And you'll notice that I'm not actually typing that out in capitals like it is in the Photoshop design. We're going to use CSS uh, and make that into uppercase. So then just underneath the tech byte, there was the, like, the, the slogan. So we're going to create a P tag for the paragraph. And we're going to type in your tech news. And again, I'm not putting that in capitals either. So if we just preview that in the uh, design view. So we have the image, the H1, and the Your Tech News, the, pa the paragraph tag, inside of a div called logo. So we need to get the tech bytes and the Your Tech News text up here to the right hand side of this uh, logo. So to do this, this is where the, uh, if I go up here, the FL and the FR for float left and float right come into place. So now if I go to the logo, I'm going to add the class of FL, and if we go back to the design, you can now see that that's now still in the same place, but now the text is floating to the side of it. So the, we, there is a slight issue. Uh, if I click here, this is the center container. You'll now notice it's sort of collapsed underneath the um, logo image because we've floated that element. The parent element will then collapse. Um, so we need to clear that float. So if we go to the code, so we need to add this just after the logo. We're going to do a div with a class, and we're going to use CL. So that means clear left, like that. Now if I go back to the design, you'll now see if I click here, which is still the center container, it's now moved back down to its correct position. So the next stage is to start to change this text. So the tech byte itself needs to be a lot bigger. So that is inside of the H1. So we're going to target this in a certain way. We're going to say any ID of logo that has a H1 do something. So if we go into the main CSS and we come just below here, we're going to create an ID of logo that has a H1. I want you to do something so that thing is we want it to do is going to say we're going to say font size is 33 pixels and I'll just close that off now if we preview this in the index page you'll now see that's a lot bigger 
Uh, we also need to make this in make this into uppercase. So we, I said, like I said, we, we were going to do this with CSS. So if we go back, and then just after the font size, we're going to say text transform. And here you get different options. So you get lowercase, uppercase, uh, none, all that sort of thing. So we're going to use uppercase. And again, close that off. Now, if we go back to the index page, that is now all in capitals. So we're getting close to the, the, the design. Uh, I can see a, a problem at the moment is that we've got the logo here. Now, we've also got the tech byte and the your tech news, and it's really close to the image. We want it to give it a bit of breathing space. So the easiest way to affect both of these with one line of code is to say an ID of logo that has an image. So this is the only image inside of the logo div give it margin right. So the margin right will kick the, the tech byte and the your tech news obviously to the right. So if we go back here, so just below the uh, logo, we're going to create another idea of logo, but we're going to say that contains just an image. We're going to say margin right of 15 pixels and then just close that off. So now if we go to the index, you can see it's now kicked both of them away and there's 15 pixels of margin right. So the next thing we need to look at is the your tech news. So again, that's the paragraph tag. So if we go to the CSS and then we're going to create another ID of logo that just contains a paragraph tag. That's all we're targeting. We want it to do something, so we're going to say font size, and we'll just say 13 pixels for now. And again, we'll close that off. We just preview that. So nothing really has changed, but that will make that uppercase as well. So text transform uppercase. I think if we make the font size a bit bigger just so we can see it change and now if we go back to the index as you can see now it's getting a lot closer to the actual design um, what we also need to do is give it some letter spacing because in the Photoshop design um, it's got it's a bit more spacing in between each letter so if you look at that at the moment it's quite bunched close together so we can use CSS to uh, move them apart so here we're going to say letter spacing and we'll just give it some three pixels in between each individual letter and if we go to the index as you can see now there's an extra three pixels in between each of the letters so I think if we just increase that up to say four and go back to the index that's looking pretty good to me um, what we also need to do is actually bring the whole logo div down into the middle of the actual header background. So to do that, we'll, if we go to the code, all of the, the image, the H1 and the paragraph are all enclosed inside of the logo. So we need to affect that. So here's our logo. So what we're going to say, if we say padding top, and we'll just say 20 pixels. And if we preview that in the index, as you can see now, all of that's now jumped down. So the next thing we need to do is actually move the your tech news down just a little bit so it moves away from the, the tech byte uh, main text. So the way we'll do this is we'll say the H1 will have some padding bottom, which will then kick the your tech news down. So if we go to the logo of H1, which is here, and we're just going to say padding bottom, and we'll give that 10 pixels. So now if we go to the index page, you can see that's now kicked it down. Okay, so I think that's a little bit too much. So what we'll do, we'll change that for 7 pixels. So what I want to do is actually move the your tech news over just a tiny amount because it doesn't quite line up correctly with this here. So we're going to give it some margin left. Now the margin for this is going to start over here. Because we've floated this element to the left, these have sort of flowed underneath the actual logo. So instead of the, because you, you would think that the margin starts here and then it just needs to nudge it over a couple of pixels, but it's actually from here. 
Um, so what I'll do, if I go to the CSS and on the P, we want to be saying margin left of about 70, about 75 pixels. If we just preview that, it helps if you spell it correctly. <laughs> so uh, margin left. Now if we go back, you can see it's not really moved it that much. If we just change that to 80, and as you can see now, that's just nudged it in that tiny amount because, like I said, it's, it's the margin starting here and not actually here. Um, so that's looking pretty good to me. So if we just preview this in a web page, so I'm going to click on the globe and go to Preview in Chrome. So as you can see, it's looking very similar to uh, Dreamweaver, but there is a slight difference that the Your Tech News is extending out further. Uh, than it shows in Dreamweaver. So I think that's just down to the way Dreamweaver renders certain things. So I've opened it up here in Chrome. I've also opened it up in Firefox. So as you can see here, it looks exactly the same. Um, and I've also opened up in good old IE. And again, that looks the same as well. So I'm obviously gonna go, I'm gonna go by what it looks like in the browsers more than what it looks like in Dreamweaver. So we just need to bring uh, we just need to change a few things to make it look right. So if we go to Dreamweaver, so I'm just going to change the in the main CSS. I'm going to change the letter spacing down to three, and bring the font size down to 15. Now, if I just preview that in Chrome, just to see what that looks like. So yeah, so as you can see, that's brought it down, but that's not quite right. I'm going to put the font size back to 16. And then just preview it one more time. So that's pretty good to me. So the next thing we just need to focus in on is actually moving uh, the Your Tech News down just slightly. So we'll do that in a slightly different way. So we'll go back over to Dreamweaver. And on the actual logo P, so that's the paragraph, which is the Your Tech News, we're going to say padding top and we'll just say five pixels so if we go to the index page you can see that's come down if we just preview that in the web browser and hit refresh as you can see that's now nudged it down so I'm quite happy with that now the actual font here we're going to change that using um, JavaScript later on because we use the actual ala font for this so if we just preview these in the other browsers to see what they look like so again that's basically the same and if we go into good old IE everyone loves it and then if we refresh that again that's the same as well so we just now need to uh, add in the advertising on the left hand side on the right hand side even so we'll do that now so we'll go into the code and if we go just below the logo and we're going to create another div and we'll give it an ID I'm going to call it Google AdSense and then we're going to create our comment so Google AdSense like that so we need to style up this actual div so I'm going to copy the Google AdSense and I'm just going to come down and I'm going to create here I'm going to create an ID Google AdSense so we're going to use the following properties for this. So the width is actually going to be 468 pixels. And the height of this div is going to be 60 pixels because these are the dimensions of the banner that goes at the top. And if we save that. So if we go to the index page. So you can see here this div is the logo div as it says here div of logo. And if I click on this newly uh, created div here, this is the Google AdSense. So it's actually, it's obviously in the wrong place. It needs to be up here on the, the right hand side. So what we'll do, we'll come into the markup and on the actual div ID, we'll just give it a class and we'll say float right like that. Now, if we go to the design, you'll notice it's floated it to the right, but it's still not up here in this top corner. So the reason for this is because we haven't floated this div of ID of logo 
we need to float that to the left and what that will do that will then make this float up into position so if we go to the code so if we go to the div with an ID of logo and if we just add a class and we're just going to say float left so if we now look at that in design you can see that the Google AdSense div is now floated up in position as it says here Google AdSense and the final thing well one of the final things we need to do is actually just nudge it down into the middle like we did the logo so if we go to the main CSS if we just go to the Google AdSense rule here and we're going to say margin top of 25 pixels and if we go to the index as you can see now this represents um, the margin on the top uh, and that's now in position so I have a Google AdSense account for my YouTube channel um, so what I'm going to do is just go over and grab the code that I need so all you have to do is just paste in the code in between the, uh, the div ID of Google AdSense and I'm just going to paste that in now I'm not sure if I'm allowed to display any of this inf some of this information so I'm going to blank some of it out just in case um, so yeah once you've added it in all you do then is just save the page if you go to design view you don't really notice any difference but now if I head on over to Google Chrome web browser and if I hit refresh so as you can see I've got the Google AdSense uh, banner in there if I refresh the page it changes to another one and so on and so on um, so basically that's how you do it so just in case you don't have a Google AdSense um, account what I will do if we just head on back over to Dreamweaver and go into the code view I will remove all of the Google AdSense and what we'll do just for now uh, as a placeholder if you head on over to the Photoshop design and then we'll basically take this image and put it in place so if we go to the layers and click on the actual AdSense banner and then it'll go down to the AdSense layer and I'm going to right click on the AdSense duplicate layer go to new click on OK and then if I just zoom in to show you what, how this actually works and normally when you do the slice you have to get it perfect but because we're using the trim option here and we're saying top, bottom, right and left it'll actually do it absolutely perfect for you so if I click that there you go all of it's done for me so now I'm going to do file save for web and devices so just make sure it's PNG24 and click on save and then just save that into the images folder and I'm just going to call this uh, AdSense banner so that's that in place so I'm just going to get rid of this because we don't need it anymore and I'm going to head back on over to Dreamweaver and then inside of the the Google AdSense banner I'm going to say image source and then just browse for that image so if I just move this over which is here click on OK like that so now if I go into the design as you can see there's the banner and then the final thing if we just head on over to the browser and hit refresh and as you can see we've now got a static uh, placeholder um, so when you've actually got a Google AdSense account you can be adding all that in so what I'm going to do I'm going to leave the video here for now uh, in the next video we'll be creating the menu system uh, and the tabs and we'll be using some border radius properties in the CSS and all that good stuff uh, so as usual guys thanks for watching Please leave any comments below, feel free to subscribe, don't forget to click that link in the top right hand corner and I will catch you in the next video.